General information. The United Kingdom is made up of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The government is a constitutional monarchy. Remember that the currency is British sterling, the pound. Don't forget that they drive on the left. This is important to remember both for drivers and for pedestrians. Watch out on zebra crossings. Look right, look left, and look right again. The units of measurement are different too. To measure surfaces, they use inches, feet, and yards. Liquids are measured in pints, quarts, and gallons. The units of weight are ounces and pounds. Like all countries, they have their own timetables. You will have to get to know breakfast, lunch and dinner times, as well as opening and closing times for shops, banks, public organisms, etc. And of course, don't forget to put your watch back an hour. Getting around in the UK by train. The train network is made up of a group of different companies covering different routes. If you are between 16 and 25, you can benefit from interesting discounts. And don't forget, the earlier you buy the ticket, the cheaper it is. Buy underground, tube. You can get around London, as well as Glasgow, Liverpool and Newcastle, by underground. By bus. The ticket price depends on the length of your journey. In London, you have to buy your ticket from the machines you can find at the bus stop before boarding the bus. In some cities, you can buy the ticket on the bus. If you are a student at a university or college and over 18, you can get the 18 plus student oyster photocard for travel in London. This is valid for travel both on buses and on the underground. You can get a weekly, monthly or annual card and the price varies according to the number of zones you want to travel in. If you are not studying, the normal Oyster card is still the best and cheapest way to travel in London. By bike. A wonderful way to get around the city or to travel outside and explore the countryside. If you haven't got your own bike, you can rent one for as long as you wish. There are bike stations all over London. Take a bike, use it and park it at any bike station. And don't forget to wear a helmet. Things to keep in mind. If you have any doubts or questions about the country, get in touch with the British Embassy before you leave. Don't forget to sign up at the nearest Spanish consulate to where you are staying. In the case you have a problem or need personal documentation, you can get help from the consular office. If you lose your wallet, passport, DNI or have them stolen, remember that you should report the theft to your local police station, as well as going to the consulate for help to sort out the renewal of any documents you may have lost. Keep the telephone numbers of both the Spanish Embassy and the Consulate at hand. Before leaving the country, check with your bank in Spain to see what charges they apply when paying with your credit debit card or when using a cash machine. Apply for the European Health Card at your local Social Security office. In some regions, it can be applied for via the Seguridad Social website before leaving the country. The card will enable you to receive any kind of medical care during your stay. In case of emergency, dial 112 or 999. In case of serious illness, you can go to a hospital or to your nearest walk-in centre. It is important too that before you leave, you get an international student card, CSIS, this will allow you to get special discounts in transport, shops, entrance to museums, etc.